Welcome back, uh, ladies and gents. Uh, I thought I'd stop here for a minute because look at that light. It is an extraordinary morning. The light is just, it's mind boggling. Uh, it's not an illusion. There's no smoke, there's no steam, there's no mist. That is the sunlight leaking into the tube station. Quite extraordinary. Now, hopefully, we're not going to get completely blinded by it as we go up. It's, uh, it's a busy one, people, because it's really, really, really bright and really, really, really lovely. Apparently, there are road closures in place uh, in and around the Whitehall. I'm not sure what the event is this morning, but as you can see, things are, how do we put it, a little busy here in central London. Uh, let me ask the police what the road closures were for. One second, guys. Officer, I was reading that Whitehall and Horse Guards Avenue were closed for some reason this morning. Oh, they're closed, are they? We I, did... I don't know why. Oh, right. We, we did wonder why the road was closed there, um, but we're not we're not part of there. We haven't been told why there have been. Ah, so. Oh, so you guys are in the dark, just like yeah, I am. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, well, okay. we, we, we noticed that the road was closed, but obviously it's, it's for something completely different to what we're here for, so... Yeah, I protest don't know march, why. maybe there's nothing maybe. on the calendar. There are, there are quite a few protests going on today, so maybe they've closed them for security reasons. I don't know. Okay, all right, thank no you very worries. much. I'm sure you can still walk down there, though. Hopefully, fingers crossed. Right. See you. Okay, so even the police don't know, which means it would have been very last minute. Uh, I only know because it came up on uh, on my Instagram feed from one of the uh, from the accounts of one of the Ministry of Defence police officers. Uh, that I follow. So I was quite surprised to see it myself. There's nothing at all on the calendar. No road closures listed overnight uh, and no alterations to ordinary travel and services. So I don't know, it might well be that some protest uh, caught the police somewhat unawares uh, and they've closed part of Whitehall and the surrounding roads as a precaution. I really don't know, guys, but we'll find out. Let's hope that we can at least walk down uh, but I know that Whitehall, or at least part of it, uh, has been closed to traffic. Let's have a little look. Yeah, it's completely uh, completely deserted, traffic-wise. Uh, and they've put these out. Interesting. I mean, I guess in some respects it's going to make our uh, morning a little bit more comfortable, a little bit more civilised. I spotted some other officers who hopefully will not tell me off for, uh, actually no, they went in and told these girls off. One second. Good morning officer, can I ask why the White Horse closed? Is there a special event? There's or? three parades going on. Oh god, all at once? Um, pretty much. Yeah. One is for the cadets, okay. one is for Remembrance Day, and then there's another one I'm sure for. Okay, I mean at least they're good causes. Yeah. Okay, thank you. Okay, so there you have it ladies and gents. Uh, those are the closures that are in place. Actually, hold on. Oh, I got scared for a second. They, they barrowed Whitehall. But, uh, excuse me, sorry, oops. <laughs> Some girl just basically punching me. <laughs> uh, in a place where the sun doesn't shine. Bless her, she didn't realise. Oops. Okay, the queue, folks, because of this extraordinary light, the queue for the phone box, I think we might have set a new record here. It's m -m 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 massive. Look at this. I mean, I'm really far back because uh, <laughs> that's the only way to get the entire queue in the frame. It really is that long. Normally we're up a lot closer. So the fact that we can't get that close tells you pretty much all you need to know. Wow. And the same in fact with the two phone boxes going back. Also, there are lots of notice actually. Looking across the Parliament Square here, obviously at the junction where everything's closed, lots of police out and about. Uh, both in high vis uh, and uniformed, ordinarily without the high vis, as you can see. Now, the King's Troop are still here, ladies and gents, of course. Uh, there was no guard change this morning, it's Sunday. There would have been, not terribly long ago, the morning inspection uh, out the back. Now, tomorrow we will have a regimental. Actually, we won't have, I was going to say a regimental changeover. We'll have uh, <laughs> a changeover between groups of gunners, folks, in the same regiment. It's not actually a regiment, I forgot the, uh, the official name. 
The King's Troop Royal Horse Artillery is not actually a regiment. It's a unit, folks. It's a ceremonial unit within the British Army. That's it. So here we are, back at the phone box, uh, with Red. And uh, we've got a look, a naval cadet. Just dashing through there. That's interesting. Yeah, yeah. But... We might well get to see uh, some more service personnel as we head along Whitehall. Let's, uh, let's find out. Let's hope that Hombre doesn't walk into the camera. It really is a super morning, but the thing is, I think a lot of people uh, have somehow gotten stuck because the barriering is particularly odd. Wait, hold on a second. Oh no, it is actually closed. I wonder how those people got into the middle. Okay, there's traffic going the other way. This is good. Let me just double check. Obviously, is it possible to get all the way to horse guards by going along this side and walking? Um, I'm not entirely sure, to be honest with you. Um, Whitehall seems to be okay for pedestrians, but only on this side, yeah? This side is going to be sterile, so we're about next to our hours. The okay. other side is all open. Okay, I'll give it a try. They, they cart us all in from all over London, so I don't know if it's Ah, uh, what's your usual borough? Uh, Lewisham. Oh, so, goodness, okay. Yeah. A little bit, little bit easier day today, I guess. <laughs> Okay, so he's in from Lewisham. This explains, guys, a lot of you might be wondering, like, how do the police not know these things? Well, uh, at the weekends and when they need extra bodies, a lot of extra bodies for this sort of duty, police are brought in from all over the boroughs of outer London. Uh, he's from Lewisham, which is in South London. So he's gonna have a very long day. Luckily, it's not super cold. Um, that, however, uh, the absence of super cold will not last. The temperatures are going to fall to get ready, folks. Uh, five degrees in the next few days. We've got a couple apparently of rainy days coming up and then a couple of very bright days. That's Luckily good. it's on the bright days that we're predicted to fall down to something like five or even four degrees, which fine with me. I mean, I'm dressed for it today, to be honest. But <clears throat> that's going to be, uh, from my point of view, interesting when we can start to see the horse's breath in the, in the cold morning air. I'm not sure if 5-4 uh, will be cold enough. I'm also hoping we don't get stuck in a massive jam again. I'm getting a huge deja vu, guys, from the other day when, uh, last weekend, when we got stuck here on, uh, on the day before Remembrance Day. In fact, we got stuck here on both days, if only one of them was on the camera. The problem is there's a real log jam because it's from construction, just a little bit along Whitehall. So I'm going to hope, sort of squishing through and being semi-impatient, that the same thing's not going to happen. Other people are just stopping and not even bothering to move, and this is half the problem here. Okay, better just to walk through, I think, otherwise uh, we could be there all day. When it moves, it's fine, but notice how many people are already stopping uh, to get a position. I don't know actually what time the uh, marches and celebrations are starting, but it sounds as though everything today is a positive. Let's hope so. Oh, under covers. Interesting. Notice the earpieces. Oh, okay, <laughs> some side eye there. <laughs> Thank you. Interesting characters around uh, today off of the camera to my right working with the police. I'm not sure exactly who or why or whatever, maybe military, but they're not dressed in uniform. Okay, so this is a little bit more tolerable. I think to be fair guys, we're going to be okay. It'll be maybe 20, 30 minutes later just before it's going to start. It will be absolutely packed here. Notice however, we've already started to lose the sunlight, which appears to have uh, cast its glow exclusively over Parliament Square. It will, sh oh, I, mean, I say will, it should um, slowly work its way down here as long as it doesn't uh, end up being horribly overcast. Right, this is a little bit better, isn't it? And I've noticed actually, it was either last night or the night before, probably actually Saturday night thinking about it, uh, they started to put up the Christmas decorations at Raffles. I can just see them in the distance. London is actually already looking super Christmassy. When was it? Last Saturday night, uh, I was on Oxford Street for the first time in many months, actually. In fact, probably the first time in a year after dark. 
And wow, was I surprised. I mean, yes, it's beautiful with the Christmas lights and, of course, the uh, traditional angel lights that are uh, out on Regent Street, but goodness gracious me, ladies and gents, it was, uh, it was a real surprise uh, to see that all of the social problems that have blighted Park Lane Mayfair Marble Arch in recent years uh, have effectively been unintentionally swept onto Oxford Street. It's really bad. Yeah. Uh, more bad news, people. Uh, there's no access to horse guards this morning. Yeah. It's exceedingly unfortunate, but that's the way it is. I've noticed it's sterile. There are two uh, gunners out uh, on duty but there are also two police officers flanking them one either side so there's no access to horse cars funny that actually this must have come down the orders this must have come either late last night or this morning how are these events not listed on the calendar or well, if they are they're not listed on the usual calendar maybe for, for security reasons and that's the only thing i can think of at this point but that, ladies and gents, is probably one of the most unusual sights you'll ever see. And I haven't seen horse guards looking like this since coronation, state opening of Parliament. And even then there was a little more traffic, but look at that. It is completely, other than the two horses, deserted. That is quite an extraordinary sight, isn't it, for, uh, for a Sunday morning. I was not expecting that. Oh, salute from the officer. Get ourselves a little bit closer, ladies and gents, and uh, decide what's going to be the best way forward. I've got a couple of ideas. One second. B. But idea number one, primary idea, uh, is to forget about that and enjoy the local architecture. How's about that, people? So we're going to have a brief stroll, taking in a few things we haven't seen any time recently uh, on this channel. Why? Because, hey, I'm outside, so why not? Fresh air, exercise, and quite a lovely morning. Oh, taxi. Oh, that's very nice. Taxi driver stopping there for the two lads. This certainly explains the closures. That, folks, is a London Eye. Pretty good view, eh? In fact, it's a fabulous view. I seem to remember. Ah! Ah, ah, ah. I say I seem to remember. Ha! Massive deja vu. We've been here before, ladies and gents. I'm pretty sure, for memory, this is the Royal Tank Regiment, is it not? I remember stumbling across this exact event last year. Major, major deja vu right now. Yeah, I'm 90% certain it is. Apologies if I've got the name of the regiment wrong, but I'm pretty sure it's, uh, it's the Royal Tank Regiment. If we get a bit closer... Uh, and I can find somebody who looks friendly, I will ask. But golly, that's luck, isn't it? That we just, <laughs> just sort of took a stroll uh, along the back streets uh, and stumbled across the prep. One would not have believed it. One second. Sorry to don't be very which, which regiment? Is it a Royal Tank Regiment? Yeah. It is, yeah? yeah. Parade along Whitehall to the Cenotaph. Yes. Okay, yeah. Lovely. Okay, good luck. Thank you. Okay, so it is, guys. Uh, I'm shocked that I actually got the regiment right. I'm normally pretty sort of hairbrain, scatterbrain uh, with these kind of things, but not this morning. Now, I'm just trying to think to myself, in terms of what happened last year, the way they formed up and where they went after they formed up,
Yeah, it's, it's a tricky one actually thinking about it. What is the best thing to do? Is it better to be here in the centre or is it better to head down toward Whitehall? Which is where we started. Personnel all over the place actually. Which in central London terms is very, very, very unusual. In a good way. I mean, I personally think it's a, it's a huge plus. What is it for... Given that there are so many uh, fine-looking fellows here, I'm trying to see if anyone's got <laughs> my name on their chest, uh, chest patch. It wouldn't surprise me with these kind of numbers. Goodness gracious. <laughs> A most unusual morning, eh? <laughs> I will try and find out where is uh, the best place to stand. Also, a lot's going to depend on, of course, what time uh, they're going to form up uh, and head off. Uh, but for any of you with relatives, friends, etc., acquaintances that are here today for what I guess for this ritual is a very important day, uh, hopefully you will have found this video uh, and you'll be enjoying seeing footage of your loved ones on my channel. Here we are. <laughs> extraordinary thing to see, isn't it? I mean, really, really extraordinary. Golly. The question is, okay, what? Are they walking this way and then going left onto the white way? It's all finished now, the place. Oh, it's actually yeah. done? Yeah. Ah, yeah but the, the, even the place, I'm not sure why Whitehall have been closed. Like, how can you not know why it's closed? Yeah, you do it every year, so you've been there every year. Yeah. But yeah, that's it now, that's the place. Ah, so you guys have done yeah. it then? Okay, how'd it go? Good? Uh, yeah, it's good, yeah. 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 I mean, on the day that it's not rainy, it's got to be a positive. <laughs> okay, have a yeah, good one. Cheers. cheers. <laughs> okay, I mean, that's actually lovely, guys. What we captured is the aftermath. I mean, is that good? I guess it's good in the sense that everybody seems a lot more relaxed. It's also good in the sense that we managed to film some very fine looking fellows here. And more importantly, next to the memorial over here, uh, people are really enjoying themselves. Look at this, magnificent. What a wonderful thing to see on a Sunday morning. Extraordinary. Let me get out of your way. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> uh, you might be wondering, guys, why it is that uh, some of the officers uh, are wearing bowler hats. Bit of a tradition. Uh, it doesn't even matter what the weather's like. The officers uh, will always wear bowlers and typically also carry an umbrella, even if it's not raining. Now, one interesting thing for me uh, is to find out at which rank they start to wear bowler hats. In other words, is there a minimum spot on the on the ranking tree? Well, let me find out. Can I ask you a quick, very quick question? When did the officers start wearing bowlers? From which rank do you know? Uh, no, I think they, they all do. Uh, Even the NCOs or just commissioned no, no, officers? No, just commissioned officers. Yeah? Yeah, so I work for the left hand. Okay, you're amazing. It's a great thing to see. Actually. Yeah. Very, very central London, but wonderful thing to yeah. see. Thank you. Yeah, I've, I've noticed actually, which yeah. is it's so unique, but it's wonderful. I don't know when it started, but it's, it's tradition like that. Yeah. yeah. Love it. Thank you very much. Okay, so, and I'm going to pronounce it right, guys. Get ready for it. This might be the only time I get it right. From Lieutenant upwards. Let me get out of here quickly. Oopsie. Thank you. From Lieutenant, guys, upwards, uh, apparently. Uh, NCOs, no bowler hats. Uh, but commissioned officers, yes. 
which is a wonderful thing. And that is our last bowler hatted fellow for Lowe's. Golly, they're, uh, they're, we're hearing them uh, shouting behind. I think they're forming up. I hate that's what it is. Oh, yeah, in fact, there's no round of applause. Gosh. I mean, we ended up getting uh, right in the thick of it, didn't we? Which was a bit unusual. Very surprising, too. Now, does this mean that Whitehall will be reopened? No idea. But, and this is the best part, folks, they're actually marching toward us right now. Wouldn't believe it, would you? <laughs> the luck that we sometimes have on this channel uh, surprises me. Exceedingly fortuitous, occasionally, the, uh, the spots that we find ourselves in for views. Now, I was wondering why the police were hauling this open. And I'm pretty sure, from what I can see here, that uh, we're going to get all of the, uh, the regiment marching past us. I'm just dashing along a teeny weeny bit, because I think, from what I've seen so far, they are highly likely to be marching along the other side. They cross over before they get sterilised. That's it, we just got over in fact. Amazing. One second, they're gonna close it in a minute and they're marching toward us. Here they come. Do you know if Whitehall is going to be reopened when they finish marching? Is this the last no, of this morning's no, events? There's two more ceremonies. Ah, do you know what the others are? Uh, what time? No, what, what, which ones? I mean, this is Royal Tank Major. No, you know yeah, the, the rest are like uh, police cadets, and then there is some old soldiers later on. Ah. So no more proper full-time military. Understood. Like Thank these you. guys. Yeah, look, look at how good they look. Wow. Look at this, folks. What a sight, eh, in central London this morning in the sunshine. Very smart gentlemen, very smart. Well, looking dapper, aren't they? Looking very good. serious. They are, no, they're brilliant. I'm just thinking, it's an all-male regiment, a couple, a couple of ladies, no, only a couple. No, there's tankers now, aren't they? These are cadets. Wow. Look at the weather for it this morning, ladies and gents. Look at this, wonderful. The guys from the Welsh Guards at the back there in the kilt. In a very good mood. He's definitely had a good morning, you can tell. Hello. Oh. <laughs> okay, folks, so no access to no, Whitehall. Oh, hold on, we've got Aussies here, I think. Aussies? I'm sure they are. What do you think, uh, ladies and gents, watching from Australia? I'm pretty sure if I've offended anyone in New Zealand by getting it wrong, my sincere apologies, but that I'm 99.9% .9 certain was... Uh, was a member of the Australian military. Goodness, I mean, <laughs> we ended up getting in exactly the right spot uh, to see the entire regiment march by. Well, well, well. I'm genuinely shocked. As you heard, Whitehall is going to be closed for some time today. Fortunate, but there it is, ladies and gents. However, they're just moving the barriers around to seal a different part of it. We did catch something pretty unique and rare that happens only once a year. Uh, and we caught it completely by accident. <laughs> it's extraordinary. More importantly, at this end, rain clouds. Look, over Nelson's column. What a wonderful thing to see this morning. I'm uh, somewhat taken aback, I must say, in all honesty. When we look at how many roads are closed and sealed, the fact that we found the only one that wasn't <laughs> purely by accident. Hopefully, uh, if this video shows up for people that are searching for uh, Royal Tank Regiment, some of you parents will be able to see your uh, magnificent offspring. Uh, and I will put Royal Tank Regiment in the title of this specifically because that primarily was what the video inadvertently ended up being about. Now, in some respects, I'm disappointed that we didn't get to see close up anyway, uh, the horses. But 
we'll see them tomorrow. In other words, is it not good to have a little teeny bit of variety thrown in? I think it is. I really do. And we kind of did uh, what we usually do, but in reverse. In other words, we started at the Westminster end, uh, and we're going to finish here at the Trafalgar Square end. Purely by accident. I'm just going to stroll around the uh, Trafalgar Square because I think actually, even though it wasn't at all intentional, uh, being so close to Pall Mall, I'm going to have some breakfast before I go home. <laughs> the plan was going to be brunch uh, at around 1 pm, 1 30, but hey, they're probably starving myself if I can eat in the next 30 minutes. Oh. Household division. It's a uh, Memento London, some tacky tourist Memento souvenir shop uh, with a household division soldier. Bit of a pity actually that uh, they're allowed to use those kind of things to sell tourist tap. But then again, I mean, it's all money into the London economy in, uh, in one way or another. Oh, just got across before the traffic started to move. Okay, we're marching toward, in the distance, Glorious Spire. Uh, that's St Martin in the Fields, ladies and gents. I'm not going to move for a second because I think some of this traffic is about to turn you up to my right. Yeah, St Martin in the Fields, just up here. Poking out. I'm going to, lucky again, cut across here. And as it's Sunday morning, and I can't at the moment hear any noise, although that might not last, uh, I'll cut across Trafalgar Square, guys, because I'm going that way anyway. Plus, it's remarkably quiet here, I guess, because of a lot of the road closures in the centre tonight. In fact, it's a rare pleasure to be out on the bar. And you can actually walk around without there being zillion tourists approaching the camera pretty much continuously. Beautiful morning at this end, but there's rain clouds are never far away, and there's a real chill in the air. I can, oh, when the wind is blowing, it's really chilly. Hold on one second, let's not destroy their picture. It's a lovely image, isn't it? Although these guys don't seem to care. Brr. I'm guessing, as uh, last night was Saturday night. A lot of mess was probably left on the square. People throwing up and all the usual stuff. Hence this area being closed uh, for cleaning. It's only a small part of the square there, most of it's still open. Now we did briefly feature this, very briefly, um, in a video earlier this week. I forgot which day, folks, so apologies, I can't tell you which one it was or even what the title was. Ah, you know the, the guys that uh, suspend themselves in mid-air? Bit of a tourist trick. Uh, this gent is setting up the platform. Now notice, using scaffolding poles, okay, which have been specially drilled, he will then attach one of them, I've seen the videos before, so I know what he's going to do, we're not going to watch all of it. He will attach one of them uh, to one of his legs. It's able to spin, etc. <laughs> I'm just admiring you getting prepared for the, uh, is it like the sight golden man thing? Yeah? It's a great thing to see, honestly. Are you okay with me filming or would you rather not? Say again? Yeah? Wow, yeah, he is a guy. I'm surprised. I mean, I, I, I can film it anyway, but I just thought it was a bit, you know, a bit more polite to uh, to ask. I don't want to get in the guy's face. He is, uh, regardless of whether you agree with this sort of thing or not, he is at work. It's funny actually. The thing never seems as though it would be that stable, in the sense that it could hold the weight of a human body. I mean, he's probably weight-wise 70 kilos, maybe 75 kilos tops. Quite a small, uh, small fellow. See, look, it's going over. That avoids uh, rubbing on his legs. The 
funny thing is uh, it's going to take a while for him to finish getting prepped and then he needs to get into uniform as well but that for those of you that have always wondered how they do it uh, is how they do it see ah wait actually I thought he was going to sort of uh, get change change but I think he's actually going to just throw it on over what he's wearing already I still admire this though because whether or not one agrees with the principle of those that are arguably, certainly in some places, not necessarily here, this is Trafalgar Square, unlicensed in some places. I, I can't comment on whether this fellow is licensed instinctively. Because of the spot he's chosen, I wouldn't think he is. Because the two licensed spots are typically where all the Christmas hearts are. But maybe they've moved it. So. Uh, I'm not going to condemn him for being out and trying to earn some money today. That is his right, uh, as is uh, anyone's right. If the police decide he hasn't got a permit or Westminster Council inspectors, uh, they'll move him on pretty quick. But that certainly explains why I was thinking, why is it so quiet here this morning on Trafalgar Square? That's the reason, folks. Anyway, he's now going to get changed. Uh, if he does pull his pants down, I promise I will turn the camera away. Gosh, what a peculiar video, folks. We went from <laughs> uh, police enclosures and a phone box uh, to Whitehall, to Royal Tank Regiment, to uh, Trafalgar Square, to this. Okay, this is the Houdini moment. Get ready for it. And he goes. I can't believe I've never actually stumbled across this, uh, this prep work on the channel before. Massive respect to the guy as well for being cool with me filming it. Now the secret bit, the uh, interesting part that we're not seeing, is exactly how he attaches himself in some way via his leg to the pole. Now whichever way it's done, whether we can see it or whether it's hidden, it's still an extraordinary thing and the, the pressure that must place on certain joints don't forget, all of the weight is on the part of his body that's attached to the pole that allows him uh, to spin and rotate and stuff. So it's, it's hard, it's damn hard work, folks, I'm not going to lie. But you typically tend to see this Leicester Square, Covent Garden, the more commercial parts of London, but then I guess, at least while the Christmas fair is here, uh, Trafalgar Square is uh, it's pretty commercial. I'd love to know, I have x-ray vision, I know what he's doing, but he's connecting the poles somehow. This is the bit that no one ever sees. So the poles are connected, we've got, oh, that's the leg frame, isn't it? I know you're thinking, if you've actually watched this far, uh, please finish the end. I don't know, it just feels super uncomfortable <laughs> filming this, even though he said it's okay. Oh, that's the mask. It'll pop on a bit later. Okay, that's the tip part, so I'm guessing next up uh, is him climbing up uh, into the costume, putting on the face mask. I do want to see the end result because I still can't understand, much as I try and use mental conjecture, <laughs> how he gets from this point uh, of just standing there to be able to twist himself all over the place. He's just tying all of his kit bag and stuff to stop people stealing it uh, to a trolley. I'm guessing trolleys are the, the, uh, the scaffold frame and it's probably a bit too heavy to be lugging around. At least on Sundays, uh, he would have been able to park very, very close to here uh, for free. Single yellow line parking is permitted in London without charge on Sundays all day. In fact, from Saturday evenings, a lot of people do come in on Saturday evenings, uh, park their car, leave it all night uh, until Sunday morning. And you can spend a day in London free parking if you're fast and quick. Uh, and get a spot early enough on Saturday night. 
Okay, just moving the leaves out of the way, making the area nice and clean. And he's going to make us wait intentionally now. I that he's going to say, no, you can't film this bit. <laughs> this secret bit. The money shot. Luckily, I've got a very, very, very large bollard in front of me. Uh, so I'm able to stand here without getting in anyone's way or having anybody get in my way. I don't think he's going to do it while I'm filming. This is the thing. Even though he said it was okay to film. No, he's not. Never mind, folks. Apologies to all of you. Yep, he's going to take his good old time now. Understandably, I mean, I guess he doesn't want to give the secret away. Anyway, moving swiftly on. It's only fair to do so. Uh, Trafalgar Square, folks. It's a national gallery, just peeking from behind. I remember this from last year, actually. It's quite, uh, quite popular. It's very early on a Sunday, but the weather's magnificent. Uh, and before you get excited, ladies and gents, we are not going to see another Rob Poynton masterpiece uh, in its early stages. Look at this, extraordinary. Utterly remarkable. And another one. <laughs> Wish I could do that. It's impressive, isn't it? It is beautiful. Yeah, mine too as well. <laughs> Security guard is like... Mine would just be splashes. I mean, mine would just be splashes everywhere. Now, the only negative, guys, is that we do have some piped music, which uh, I'm going to quickly descend into the square. So, as I mentioned, when I started walking this way, I'm heading toward uh, Palmar anyway, ultimately. So, the best and fastest way for me to get there is by cutting across Trafalgar Square. Uh, and we will finish up just where Palmar starts at the end of Coxbus Street. Oh. <laughs> Somebody just cracked the uh, the pavement slabs with a a massive sneeze. Really, really chill uh, atmosphere this morning. Like really chill. Nice thing to see. Have a look. We don't normally work on that. The tourist just asked the police where Leicester Square is. And they're like, I'm sorry, we don't normally work in this area. It's a fair point. It is a fair point. Uh, because even if you live in central London, unless you're out all the time, or you're a black cab driver, you're not going to know where everything is. That, folks, is wondrous, is it not? I think that's the first time we've managed to get the vast majority uh, of the National Gallery and the National Portrait Gallery over to the right-hand side in the frame. Don't forget, for a hell of a long time, it was covered whilst it was being repaired uh, and improved. The uh, Don't Climb on the Lion sign is still up. <laughs> TikTokers, Instagram Reels, and just uh, an all-round pleasant, very pleasant atmosphere, I must say, this morning. Incidentally, I, I don't think I've ever pointed this out in a video because we normally descend down the steps on the way to horse guards. But for those of you who are already aware that at Westminster Station there are no facilities, folks. Uh, there will be by the time tourist season reopens. This is your best option right here. It's private, but it costs almost nothing. I seem to remember maybe 10 or 20 pence. And the reason I suggest this it is sparkling clean. These facilities here at Trafalgar Square, beautifully clean inside, permanent cleaners, making sure that it's sparkling. That's the benefit of making a, a small charge, I guess. So many people doing uh, TikTok and Instagram reels and things here <laughs> this morning, which is kind of cute. I'm not sure why the fountains are off, and that is a pity, but I quite like how calm it is when the water is, uh, is relatively still. Not in that, no fountains, we get the reflection, folks. Look at those reflections. 
in the water of the National Gallery. How wonderful is that? Yeah, I don't think I'm going to get a, a more uh, spectacular closing shot in all honesty, I'm really not. That is something else entirely. Walking back toward the wall, uh, where I'll finish up in just a moment, but that folks, is Trafalgar Square, the National Gallery, and in the distance, the spire of uh, St. Martin in the Fields Church. Glorious, eh? I mean, really. We're back tomorrow with uh, a changeover within the King Street Warhol Artillery. So we'll have a lot of new faces at Horse Cards tomorrow. And I'll be there. Bye for now, folks.